Overall, so I'm going to continue to make zero bro for production. And next part, Sakura Forest Girls 3. So, let's jump in to where we left off. Ayana shores up her stamina and holds her palm lock. Blue light uh, collects about her, which then pierces through the hives of oncoming slimes. When the light fades, the slimes have vanished, as though they were never there. Oh my. Hello, Blinks. But I'm surprised at home prowess. I... I did it. I really did it. Ed, you, Ed, you're doing a great job, I Keep it up. You're right. I keep on going. Anna dashes in, into the fray, her eyes now with determination. She uses her magic to disintegrate the slimes in her path while I screw them with my spear. How's this? Yeah. Maya and Coco too are doing all they can to stop the spread of the slimes. Maya screws them with her own volleys of magical energy while Coco fires arrows arrow of the arrow. Coco's arrow should uh, run out soon. Don't you dare come any closer you disgusting monsters. I won't let you home my friends. Things were looking pretty dicey, but we're beginning to make progress. The slimes are shining out and the Amala is being driven back. We fight our way down the sides of the sloping hill, cleaning slimes apart as we go. We're getting close uh, now to the village gates. We have Imola backed into a corner. Uh, Imola grits her teeth together. She looks frustrated. You girls simply don't know when to quit. I was prepared to go easy on you, but now I see I have no choice but to crush you completely. Let's see how you face against this uh, many enemies. What? Oh my. Imola clicks her fingers and when she does a brand new wave of slimes emerge from the ground. The slimes are even more numerous. Now that we are beginning to uh, <coughs> beginning of a skirmish, there are so many of them all clustered together that I can't count them. Their bodies seem to merge together into a vast pale green mass. There must be at least 500, 700, maybe 1000 slimes. I never seen anything like it. So for the side almost how inspiring. Well, against slimes fire doesn't do anything, so that's not an option here. What is actually would be best against slimes? Maybe electricity? Man, a thunderbolt could probably dispatch uh, at least a few hundred of them. But uh, well, it seems to not be even a single cloud in the sky from what I can see. My mouth uh, hang open and my fingers slacken about the shaft of my spear. The slimes are like a tidal wave, no force of nature. They are going to bear down upon us and wash us away. I don't uh, think even Maya can handle all of these. So what do you think? Mola hears us from behind the undulging wall of slimes, her lips uh, curled in a smug smile. Just try and fight uh, way <coughs> your way out of this. If you can, I can wait to hear your cries of anguish. Won't you scream for me, Maya? Beg for forgiveness and rub your forehead against the ground like the lovely worm you are. Then I might forgive you for defying me. You're crazy. Why well, spit uh, at the mola, but its insult does not have the intended effect. The mola does look offended by the slight. That's in fact uh, quite contrary. Smoking Mala throws her arms akimbo and says, Maybe I am. What of it? I love the, her highness so much I would do anything for her, no matter how unhinged. I know you mean to insult me, small-minded creatures that you are, but I consider your words a great compliment. I would go this far for her highness' sake, show her devotion. I am to her. This is the proof that I love her. I doubt that very much. If you love her area half as much as you claim, why are you letting the slime descend upon her village? What? Molodos uh, frowned now, her brow uh, crest uh, with obvious anger. What do you mean? 
I mean, what I said. The signs are beginning to revolt. You must have summoned too many of them. You used up a lot of mana summoning those monsters. Now you have the stamina. T you haven't the stamina to control them. Some of them are beginning to creep towards the village. They mean to attack indiscriminately. They will tear down the village walls and then and the tents lay within. They will attack village at random as they try to attack us. And they will even try to attack your beloved princess if left unchecked. And uh, in trying to protect her you will instead harm her. What? No. That can't be. My sons obey me. They would not uh, exist without me. I created them. The Mola cries her voice uh, growing increasingly frenzied. Well, as I said um, <coughs> in the last story, if uh, Mola loses control of them, then she does not have any... <coughs> Well, that's as I said the last time, uh, kind of. Well, very similar, but it's just one uh, thing that uh, difference, and that she lost mana instead of uh, got them prevented. Well, but even uh, Mona can see in her aggregate that Amaya is right. The majority of the signs in Mala are st staring us down, ready to strike, but a sizable chunk of the con Engine has broken away from the rest. They are creeping towards Harry's village of uh, village and mass, with no thoughts among them save destruction. There are so many slabs that they should be should be able to tear the village walls down with ease. The village guards don't have uh, any hope of driving them away. There are hundreds of them. So much of protecting the princess. You know nothing but. Uh, put her in danger. So impressed as you are. What? No. Never wanted this to happen. C come back, my slime army, and attack the real enemy. The Mola shouts of the shouts of the, the slimes, but to little avail. They continue to creep towards uh, the village. More are beginning to join them, perhaps drawn by the warmth of uh, human flesh sleeping soundly within their tents. These uh, newly summoned slimes aren't uh, paying us any attention. They are all drawn to the village. Stop that! Stop at once, I say! Himala stamps the soul on the ground, but the uh, slimes refuse to listen. They really are out of control. Oh dear. Himala bites her lower lip. This could be bad. Are you finally realizing the error of your ways? My rose eyes? Well, I suppose I'd better later than <coughs> never. Let's try to stop them. Uh, right. We need to protect the villagers. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I can't do much to help, but uh, this is awful, awfully exciting. The six of us dash towards the village uh, on the tail of the scattered slimes. The slimes are now beginning to launch themselves at the village walls. There are so many of them, it should uh, take long before they topple the walls. <coughs> What's going on? The village guards have by the point been alerted to the chaos. They have tried to stem the destructive flow of slimes to little avail. Where did these monsters come from? There are so many of them, I can't hold them back. This mm, could be bad. I've not seen anything like it. Why did Imola not warn us about this? She always tells us when the slimes are going to attack. Maybe she was unable to predict it. There really are a lot of slimes. Where is Imola? Somebody send for her. I'm here, I'm here, so don't panic. I try to stop them. Oh, Imola, here you are. Thank goodness. Can you help us? We can't stop these monsters on our own. Somebody needs to alert the princess to this. If she were to get hurt, that would be a disaster. I will <coughs> go, but I have my hands full trying to stop these slimes. Mm, I can't hold them back. They're overpowering me. I can't. Mm, yeah. Eek. The princess. Somebody needs to protect the princess. Oh, God. The guards cry out. Their voices trill with terror, and the slimes overwhelm them. The slimes wash over the guards, they launch themselves at the wall. The sound of splintering wood fills the air, 
Pools begin to open up in the village walls, which this line is poured through like water. With all the guards the best there, there's nothing to stop them from flooding the village. At this rate, they're going to destroy everything. Stop that, please stop that. The mother pleads the, to the slime, but to little avail. They won't listen to her. They can only obey their own destructive tendencies. It's even worse than I thought. Her clicks her tongue. I doubt the mother will be of much use. She used so much of her mana, she can't stop them. We have to do something about this. Right. I stay here and look after the guards. You go ahead, alright? Yes, you do that. I leave the welfare in your hands. Maya smiles thinly. It seems you're not completely useless after all. Maya enters the village through the large gaping hole in the slimes punched into the wooden walls and slip inside behind her, with Diana and Coco following. I straighten up my spear grip tight in my right hand and look around the village. The slimes haven't been in the village all that long, but they already caught a good deal of chaos. Tents are collapsed on the ground, their supports are reduced to mats, matchsticks, while villagers are running about in panic. The fields are being uprooted and the livestock have escaped their pens. The cows are lowing in fear and the chickens are anxiously clucking. It really is a horrible sight. I can't help but worry. Well, there is uh, tents uh, or take me on top of the hill, so they will take uh, the slimes a, l a while to get there. So right now, I'm more worried about the villagers. <laughs> about the villagers. What will they do now that their home is being destroyed? This is the deliberate violent destruction is heartbreaking. Eri must uh, share my concerns because I see her dashing from her tent. The sounds of the slime's attack must have w awoken her. She dances about the wild-eyed and heaven hair tangled mess about her pretty face. <laughs> what in the world is going on? Where did all these monsters come from? This is bad. It's very bad. But I can't stand here gawping. Take this, um, you rotten slats. I won't let you hurt uh, these innocent villagers. Me neither. Take this. And this. I try to defeat as many slimes as I can, but not even my best efforts are enough. There are so many of them, it doesn't matter how many I tear asunder. I stab at them, widely spearing slimes of the slimes, but more come for to take the place of their fallen comrades. I'm already exhausted after our previous fight, and my fingers fumble around my spear. My legs are aching, and it's hard to get enough air into my lungs. I'm flagging, and I'm not the only one. My and Coco look exhausted too. Can we really take all these slimes on? I'm starting to fear that uh, it's not possible. There are too many of them. Oh no, this is bad. Anna looks even more exhausted than I feel, which is quite the feat. Her chest heaves with exertion, and her legs are shaking. She's been doing her best to fight alongside us, but I think she reached her limit. I'm terrified she's going to collapse. What will happen to her then? I'm not strong enough to protect her. Ayana, please fall back. It's not safe here. You need to flee this village while you still can. No, I won't. I can't abandon you or Maya or Koki. It wouldn't be right. You always protected me when I was young, Jaja. I was incapable of fighting my own battles. When the villagers uh, teased me, I dissolved into tears. I was, and always have been, a weak person. It is a wonder you were able to put up with me. But still, you did. You have always been there for me, Coco too. I glanced past me at Coco, who was still shooting arrows after arrows at the attacking slant, to little avail. Her arrows uh, strike true, but her, for every slime she fells, the uh, two new ones spread out up. The village is overrun with them. People are fleeing from the ruins of collapsed tents, their eyes wide, confused uh, shouts and str 
screams fill the air. Only a few feet away, I see an old woman fall. She cries out uh, in naked terror as the slime descends upon her. Not so fast. Coco pierces the slime, which is carefully aimed at her, but the woman still can't stand. She must have twisted her ankle. Soon uh, another slime descends upon her, then another. This can <coughs> is carnage. Crazy though she is, I doubt this uh, is what uh, Imola wanted. What will we do now? You and Coco have always looked after me. You are trying to protect me, even now, though we are all in danger. It is much appreciated, but you ought to think uh, about yourself more. You and Coco are the ones who are truly hurt. You have endured so much uh, for my behalf. Ayana narrows her eyes, and that is why I must get now get serious. I have had enough of being a uh, damsel in it is high time I put my own effort to bring an end to all this uh, ceaseless suffering. Ayana holds her palm of her hand aloft. Light begins to gather about her, the light is blue and it gathers about her hand like fireflies. Ayana hair flutters in the breeze. Even though I can sense my lack of measure at to my side, this that is something incredible is happening. Take dance manners bulging up inside Ayana's body. She's never looked more intense. No more beautiful. I am no I'm not dressed in any special coat befitting of a ritual, and my heart is pounding fit to burst. I barely know the basic magic despite my lesson, and I am terrified that I shall make a mistake. And I grit her teeth together, but I will not let this village be destroyed. I will do all I can to protect these good people. And to protect you too. Please let me take care of things. You can all rely on me. The light which is told about Diana grows brighter and brighter. Soon the whole world is swallowed by a light so bright I'm forced to close my eyes. Mm. Take a step back, bowed over by the power of Ayana's enchantment. I can feel the fine hair standing up on my arms and the back of my neck. My legs tremble but I'm able to remain upright. Eventually after what seems uh, a small eternity the harsh light fades. Open my eyes, pan it, I whip my head about. Air's village is frightfully state. The tents are uh, dull-pated and the fields are disarray. But as for the slimes themselves? No, no way. They all been scattered, defeated. It must have been because of Ayana's magic. She really was able to banish them. Not even Maya was capable of such a feat, despite being a centuries old witch. Ayana really is incredible. But no, I don't have the time to stand about gawping at Ayana's heroic feats, impressive though they are. How is uh, Ayana? Is she alright? Using a like that must have taken a toll on her body, which has always been on the delicate side. I'm terrified, as I sweep my ass about the village, I find Ayana slumped on the ground, unconscious or worse. Mm. I might have mm, overdone it a bit there. I really mm, need to learn my own limits. But to my immense relief, Ayana is still alert. She's even standing, albeit uh, precursly. Her legs are trembling, her face is flushed with uh, exertion, and her skin is slick with sticky slime residue. I feel a bit sticky myself, come to think of it. Maybe the slimes uh, didn't vanish, maybe Ayana's magic instead made them spontaneously explode. If so, that's kind of scary. I had no idea Ayana was so strong, but it's hardly an unwelcome surprise. If it were for, weren't for Ayana, we'd all be screwed. She saved the day. Now I want to save her before she topples to the ground. I hate for her cute face to be messed up. Ayana, who are Jenna? <laughs> I descend upon Ayana's wife. I'm so relieved to see her alright. All sensible thoughts have fled from me. 
I can't think of nothing other than holding her close and squeezing her tight. The warmth of her body against mine should let me know, if nothing else, that this is no dream. Well, alright to all of us, and I don't think uh, I've ever felt happier. Yaja, what are you? And it begins, but she is unable to finish that question. That's a new picture. I think uh, we have at least uh, a few episodes more. We have seen two new pictures, which means there are five left, which means... Yeah. Ali, that was all I have for Sakura Forest Ghost uh, 3. This time I'll see you next time. Bye bye!